Okay guys, so today we're going to be doing a little bit of an impromptu video, and while I let my good old food there cook up, I'm going to be talking about a really neat, or what I find a very interesting cook kit uh, that some of you that some of you may or may not be aware of, and I'm going to be doing a quick talk about some pros and cons and why you might want to check out this cook kit for yourself. So the cook kit in question is the Boy Scouts of America mess kit and this kit here that you guys can see consists of a plate a skillet a cup as you guys saw earlier and of course what's on the fire a pot and and all of this kit uh, condenses down into a really compact package and a little green canvas tin that you guys saw earlier so that is the kit itself and its contents. Now let's talk about the pros and cons of this little kit. Now some of you may already be familiar with this and maybe some of you had this kit as a child, but I'm here to tell you that this kit, even for us adults, is still pretty valuable. So the pros and cons to this kit. Now I should say that I actually found this kit not through myself but through a friend and we were having a discussion one day and I was talking to him about, you know, trying to find a good kit that was versatile, lightweight, and affordable that I could use for cooking out in the bush. And he pointed me in this direction and I think he did a pretty good job and I think I might have found the right kit for me. And so... To start off with the pros, the biggest pro to this kit is its versatility. There's, you will not find another kit this size for the wilderness that has a, you know, that has the setup that this does. You know, you have a pot, you have a skillet, you have a cup, you have a plate that I still can't quite find a use for the plate yet, but for sure the skillet, the pot, and the cup, you know, the cup you can make your coffee in, the pot you can cook up a soup or a stew in, and you know, you can cook up eggs and bacon in the skillet really easily. And that type of versatility in a very compact package is pretty impossible to find nowadays, which is definitely unfortunate because you would think that these are three of the most common and used implements when you're out here in the woods. So you'd think that they'd be, you'd think there'd be more kits that exist like this, but they just simply don't. And you pair this kit with something like, you know, the Vargo Bot as shown, and you have a really effective system for making yourself meals. So the, like I said, the first pro is that it's extremely versatile. The next pro is that it's pretty lightweight. Now, this is an all aluminum cook kit, and like a lot of equipment nowadays is aluminum, and it's pretty lightweight. It's not titanium lightweight, but it's more lightweight than steel, or you know, carbon steel, or any of your kind of cast irons. So it's a fairly lightweight, or a pretty lightweight system. The next thing is cost. This kit, which I will say, the cost does fluctuate on these because these are of course vintage, so you can't necessarily find them from a strict buyer. But for me, this entire kit that you guys are looking at with the little green canvas bag and the whole set itself costed me $18 total. And so you're not gonna find a cheaper setup that has this much versatility and once again at that weight it's pretty amazing and so if you ebay these things you can usually find them you know under 30 dollars you can find a kit like this so they are you know generally you probably won't find one quite for 18 dollars but you'd be surprised how cheap you can pick a kit up uh, like this so the biggest con for me with this kit is that it is very much oriented toward children. When these were released, these were released for the Boy Scouts of America, and by and large, while some Scouts are adults, most Scouts are, you know, younger children, and, you know, people generally under the age of 16. So, you can tell that the whole kit itself is the portion sizes are a little bit lacking in my opinion. Now certainly the pot isn't horribly small, the skillet isn't horribly small, and the cup isn't horribly small either. They're all okay but certainly you know if you take this and put it up against one of my normal pots it would dwarf this pot itself so you can tell that the portions are a little bit smaller because it's designed and oriented more towards 
children or younger adults. However, it is still serviceable, especially if you're considering just making meals for yourself. This is more than serviceable and will definitely suffice. So that's the biggest con for me. The second con is that aluminum, as we know, can be a little bit fragile, so you do want to be careful, you know. This isn't the type of cook kit you want to put on a rocket stove and, you know, heat up super fast. But, however, if you do have a little, you know, bush essentials, or if you have like a little bush box like I do here, you know, cooking it over a fire is very easy. And this is really the best method to do for this type of setup. And once again, you know, it works very well. This bush box LF here is a great little way to cook on any of these uh, Boy Scout of America mess kit implements, you know. So definitely a con for me but at the same time if you do a majority of your cooking over you know fires instead of you know alcohol stoves or rocket stoves this is definitely not a bad option so overall who would i recommend this system for i'd recommend this system for anyone looking for a lightweight extremely versatile cook kit that is primarily going out by themselves or if they're going out with a partner or a buddy that individual has a cook kit of their own this is not the type of cook kit that i would recommend for supporting multiple people i just don't think the portion size like the portion sizes are good enough for one person but they're definitely not good enough for two they're just barely good enough for one so i would encourage this system for someone who's you know lightweight looking or someone who wants a lightweight uh, extremely versatile cook kit that can fit a lot of roles and cook a lot of meals, different styles and types, you know, not just sticking to stews, soups, and stuff like that. You know, you can be more versatile and more active with the types of uh, foods you can cook with one kit. Uh, so if that tends to be you or if that you know is more of your style i would seriously consider taking a look at this kit at minimum take a look you know the these systems you know once again if you can get one for 18 20 dollars shipped you know they're so cheap that it's almost like you might as well just have one because you would find more use for it if you had it and it's really not that big of an expense to stomach so anyways guys that is basically my thoughts on the Boy Scouts of America mess kit. I've been using it for a little while. I've been really enjoying it. For me, it was that perfect kind of fit for what I was looking for. Like I said, it had the right tools or the right uh, equipment, like a skillet, a pot, a cup, for me to cook the foods that I usually cook. This kit really did it for me. So anyways, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this video and hopefully you've enjoyed the breakdown of this uh, Boy Scouts of America mess kit and like I said if nothing else I hope that this uh, piques your interest in checking one out because they are pretty awesome so as always guys God bless and I'm out